What's going on everybody? It's Game Unboxing Reviews here and welcome back to another LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 video. So in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to create Batman Beyond using the in-game customizer. So without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so obviously the first thing you're going to do is come to the character customizer, which is in Avengers Mansion. Then you want to come all the way over here and choose a brand new character slot. You can see I've already made the Human Torch, the Thing, the Invisible Woman, Mr. Fantastic, the Symbiote Lasher, and of course Storm from the X-Men. And in this video, we're going to be making Batman Beyond. Alright, so let's get started. So first off, let's get rid of that weapon because we're not going to have that. And we're going to get rid of that bald head and cape. He looks like a magician. Like a guy trying to be a magician, but completely failing. Uh, we'll get rid of that cape. We are going to give him a cape, but I'll explain that in a little bit. Right, so, start off with the head. So the head that I went with was Phantom Rider. Which is this one right here. I think that one looks pretty cool. Then, for the helmet, you want to have the ears, like Batman. Or you could go with the horns, whichever one you think looks better. Personally... I feel like the, uh, the ears is more accurate, so we'll go with the ears. Then for the body, you want to go with Volmund. And for the arms, you want to just make them black. Basically, the rest of the design is black. So you want the black arms, the black gloves, black hips, which actually... You could, if you wanted to, to add a little bit more detail, just because he doesn't have a belt. You see, in Batman Beyond, obviously, he has a really cool belt, and on that torso piece, there is no belt. So you could try and, you know, see if there's something that works as a good belt for Batman. Let's see here. I mean, that's probably the best we can do, I think. What about that? That's quite good, actually. No, I might have that. I might have that. Because it's got the red in the middle, just like the, uh, the button on his... Uh, you know, in the middle of the belt, in the actual show. No, you know what? I'll have that. I think that's good. Yeah, we'll, we'll have that. And then for the leg pieces, just make them black. And there you go. Nice. So that looks pretty cool. Now, I'm going to give him a cape. And the reason I'm going to give him one is basically because in LEGO Batman 3 Beyond Gotham, when, you fl when you're flying around as Terry, you know, he had his cape out. When you didn't fly, he didn't have his cape out. But you we can't really have that much control over the character. We can't, like, say when he's flying, he has the cape. And when he's not flying... He doesn't have a cape. So I'd rather have a cape than no cape, to be honest. Just so it adds a little bit more to the character when he's flying. And it'll look cooler, uh, to be honest. I, I think that looks much better. So we'll have that cape right there. Looks very, very cool. There are different capes as well. But I think this is probably the most accurate. So I think that looks awesome. I really do like that a lot. Now, I know a lot of people have been saying to give uh, Batman, my previous Batman, they said to... You know, they came up with a genius idea to use, like, a revolver and use that as a, um, a batarang, which I thought was great thinking. I didn't even think of that, so that is an awesome idea. So what we'll do is we'll go with the revolver and we'll make that black, just so it gives Terry, you know, a, a batarang, because I didn't do that for Batman, so it makes him a little bit different, which is very, very cool. The only thing is, though, guys, I've noticed with the character creator that when you give a character a gun, and then you use the invisibility ability, which he had in LEGO Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. He doesn't actually turn invisible. Like, the effect doesn't appear, but the enemies see him as invisible. So it's kind of strange, but I might just put it on there anyway just to demonstrate, you know, that you can turn invisible sort of. It just doesn't have the effect when you have a weapon, which is very odd. Anyway, uh, so we're going to have a grapple, techno access. We're not going to have wall climbing because what's the point when you, you know, fly anyway? No mind control or magic. We won't have deflect. Uh, we won't have cracked Lego walls. We'll have fix it. We will have... Vine cut? No. Wait. Yes, actually, yes, we will have a vine cut because, you know, we're pretending it's a batarang. Batarangs are sharp, so, so we'll, have, we'll have vine cut. No super strength, no rune tracing. We'll have dig and we'll have tracking. So just make sure, one more time, dig, tracking, fix it, vine cut, techno access, and grapple. Nice. All right, now we'll tap square. We're going to fight. And then we'll hold square, we're going to use the boomerang ability, so we can basically throw the pistol like a batarang. Because we can't actually have a, a batarang, obviously, so that's kind of the closest you can get. Which is fine, because to be honest, when you're playing as him, it, you can't really notice it, so it's kind of cool. Right, now with circle, so again, I was going to give him stealth. But it, it doesn't work properly, but I'll, I'll, I'll demonstrate that in a little bit. And then we'll hold circle. We'll just do what we did with Batman where we gave him, like, a gadget. But we'll give it, like, a red effect so it suits the, 
the suit, basically. Yeah, awesome. And we'll go with sonar explosion. So then, when he goes near glass Lego objects, you know, he could shatter the glass, which is very, very cool. Alright, now we just need to give him flight. Make sure that's on there. There we go. Oh, nice. He actually holsters the, uh, the pistol when he's not using it. That's cool. When he's flying. And then we don't want a hyper jump. We just want flight. Yeah, just flight. Cool. I mean, if you prefer not to give him flight, you could give him the web swing like I gave Batman where you just do this. You go make it this color here. Web style and do that. And it looks like he's swinging with a grapple hook. But we're going to go with flight because... He could do it in Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham, so I don't see why he should be able to do it here. Nice! Alright, so we've done the appearance, the abilities, we've got a weapon. Now we just need to move on to the passive traits. So for the health icon, we'll go with red. Health type, we'll go with... I guess... Yeah, standard. Obvi well, standard, obviously. He's not, he's not like, a, like Superman, basically. But, I don't know. Right, uh, then for the voice, let's see here. I'm trying to, I want to try and find like a young voice, you know? I don't know, <laughs> they, they all sound the same. Whatever, we'll just choose voice one. I can't be bothered to buzz around with them. Uh, and then for the reticle, we'll go with that one, because it's red and it looks really, really cool. Now, movement speed, you want default, obviously. That's why when he was using that power earlier, he wasn't doing it properly, like he was really fast. I'll just show you that now, just to prove it. See, when we activate the power now, the gadget... See? There's, like, no uh, weird speed like super fast way of uh, finishing the animation. So done the appearance, the abilities, the passive traits, the weapons. Now we just need to name them and choose a background image. I wonder if it's gonna fit. Let's see here. Batman. Beyond. Oh, nice, it did fit. Very, very cool, awesome. All right, background image. We will definitely have 2099, because come on, that looks awesome. And there you go, guys. That is my custom-made Batman Beyond made in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. Now, of course, what we're going to do is drop Batman Beyond into the Chronopolis hub world and see just what he can do. And here he is. This is, of course, my custom-made Batman Beyond. Let's just get a good look at him right here. I think he looks pretty cool. If I'm honest, I really like it. I think that choice in the belt, you know, for the hips looks really good because it's got the red there and it looks like the red on the belt. I, I really like it. Honestly, I think this looks pretty good. Yeah. Right. So what can he do? Well, we gave him the gun not to shoot with, but he can attack people with like that. He can uh, throw it like a batarang, which is pretty awesome. And I've also got Batman with me as well, because I thought that would be pretty cool to have my custom-made Batman with my custom-made Batman Beyond. So Terry and Bruce teaming up. Alright, now we also gave him uh, Circle Stealth, isn't it? Yeah, see what I mean? There, like, he, he is invisible now. If you go up to an enemy, he will stay invisible. Like, they, they won't know he's there, but we can see he's there. That's the only problem. Um, but if I do this... You know, you, you can't tell, but he is now visible again. That is how it works. It's very strange. But hopefully they can patch that because, you know, it's odd how you can't actually turn invisible, like visibly turn invisible. Uh, you know, when you have a gun in your hand, it's kind of strange. Uh, and I also uh, also gave him this as well, of course. Yeah, very nice. Just like Batman. All right, let's go for a fly. Some bad guys over here somewhere. Simple life, man. Yeah, yeah. Just a number of people complaining that the road to Chronopolis are a bit of a mess. Yet no one seems to mention Leave Bruce alone. Old pyramids I brought over in one piece. Just saying. <laughs> okay. Alright. It's quite fun to be able to play as a Batman that can fly. Where can I find the simple life, man? I haven't watched the Batman Beyond, like, animated series in a very long time. Like, I watched it when it first came out. So, you know, I had to really look into some stuff to remind myself what, what Terry was like. Like, I love Batman Beyond, don't get me wrong. I love the show. It was amazing. But I haven't, like, watched it since it finished. So, 
I had to really look into some things. And according to like Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham, we could fly. So I think it was right to give him flight. If I got that wrong, I'm very sorry. But, uh, you know, what, what can you do? You just got to try your best. Sometimes you succeed, sometimes you fail. But overall, the design, I think I did a good job on at least. If I messed up the abilities, I at least got the design right. <laughs> but hopefully I didn't mess up on anything. Come on, Batman, catch up. Oh yeah, I remember you, uh, you can't fly, can you? You can rope swing, but you can't fly. Do something about those All right, there should be some bad guys over here. If I turn around and then come back, you should hear one of, you should hear Wasp say there's some bad guys in the area. Hopefully, let's see. Yep, there you go. Here they are. It would be pretty sweet. Well, actually, no, it wouldn't, because it would make the game very boring. <laughs> I like having crime to fight. Do not take that away from me. Boom. Oh, let's use this on him. Ready for this? Wow, that did great damage. Not. Yes! Got you that time. Sonar ability. That Ronin is always so accusing. Well, I accuse him of being a big jerk. And, you know, the use of the cape, I just, I added that because he can fly. So I thought, you know, if he's going to be able to fly, I might as well add the cape. Because when he flies in the show and in Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham, he had a cape. So I just thought, why not? I'll do that. Um, you know, it just adds to it a little bit more. Because I just thought without the cape, it looked kind of bland. Um, but yeah. Oh, bad guys. Nice. Well, these are the, uh, the skeletons. Yeah, I think there's actually a bad guy in Batman Beyond. Remember, if I remember correctly, from one of the from the Lego Batman 3 DLC, there's a bad guy that looks a lot like this. I can't remember his name though. He's like a skeleton, and he's got like green around him. I can't remember his name, but this is like perfect boss battle right here because it fits the character like perfectly. This is like one of his enemies. I just can't remember his name, unfortunately. That guy is like stuck. I don't know what he's doing. Well, I can still attack him though. Just I have to throw things at him. Almost there. I just keep throwing it back at him. Are you really not gonna fight back? Whoa. I just erased him from the game. <laughs> right. Nice. Uh apparently that. That said two out of three, so the other guy didn't actually disappear. He was erased from the game. No! Take that, androids! Excuse me, please! Nice to see y'all! Why, thank y'all! No problem. Batman Beyond just terrorizing everyone. I should really be sticking to uh, 2099, but obviously that would be a pretty boring video if I just stayed in one spot the whole time. But I will go back. I will go back. I mean, that is where we started the video, so I'll wander about in that as well. But that's part of the fun of LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2, is the fact that you can go to all these different timelines and planets and all that good stuff. So, it's pretty cool. This is not the Batmobile, is it? It's just a black family car. So, it's not very good. Like, I, you, you don't see Batman driving around in a family car. He's got, like, Robin in the back seat. <laughs> it's, that just doesn't work. So, yeah. Goons, bad guys, it's cooler to fly anyway. Ooh, who we got? Who we got? Aha! All right. Oh, I missed a few of them. Oh, you want a piece of me? Boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna keep hitting you. Give me information. Nice. Get out of here. Wait, hang on. I said get out of here. There we go. Hey, Bruce, you wanna, like, help, maybe? I know you're old, but, like, you could try to help, please. You look pretty great for an older man in that costume, though. I mean, wow. Like, 
you're ancient right now. <laughs> How do you look so young? Oh yeah, it's because I chose a young face. <laughs> I should have really... Uh... Oh yeah, I forgot to show that. You can turn invisible. No, wait. Yes, I did show that. What am I on about? Yes, I did. I explained that earlier. Um, yeah, I should have really gave Batman... I should have took his mask off and made him old. That would have been kind of cool. Something like Dark Knight Returns sort of thing. Oh well. I think you can have a lot of fun with the Batman pieces. Me you know, messing around with them and seeing what other Batman costumes you can make. I tried making the, uh, you know, the desert outfit from Batman v Superman that he wore in that nightmare sequence. I tried making that. It turned out all right. Not amazing, but it was kind of cool to just see it. I hope if we ever get like another Lego DC game, we get that outfit because I love it so much. That's just so cool. It's like Mad Max meets Batman. I mean, come on, that's just awesome. So hopefully we get that. I if we ever get a Lego like, DC game. Oh, the Fortress of Solitude. <laughs> just kidding. But that's what it reminds me of. Back to hear tales of my culinary conquests. This definitely reminds me of the Fortress of Solitude. Cannot get him to leave the cave. You know, I think he might have got a bit. All right, let's head back to 2099. Although, although there might be some bad guys over here. Let's see. Seen that superhero supply? So. What? He like, he said something and then he stopped. That was very strange. I like the use of the gun as a batarang. I think that was really good thinking. Um, and it's no one's fault, but like, I just kind of wish he didn't hold it like that because it looks more like a gun, doesn't it? But I, I do like the fact that he can throw it and not use it as a gun. So that is cool, I suppose. Say, if you're not too busy, I had another job. No, I'm very busy. I don't have time for your jobs. I want to go back to 2099. Nueva York. That's what they call it in this game. No way for yours. Somebody should like take selfies of all the DC characters that they've like custom DC characters they've made and have them put Where billboards like change all the billboards to selfies you've taken with your custom DC characters and it'll look like the DC characters are punking the Marvel characters. I think that'd be quite funny. Where can I find the simple life, man? Aha! No, 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 no. Oh, you could jump with him. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Can you, like, go away? Please. No, I just want to... I want to try and do the special move, but it's not going to work, is it? Stay out of 2099. Close call. Thanks. You're welcome. Another criminal in the back. Can't reach the other one? Are you kidding me? What? Let me try this. Ready for this? Boom! It's fun to walk around this specific area as this Batman. Because that's what we wanted, really. I think that's, you know, that's why I wanted to make Batman Beyond. Is Well, actually, there's been some requests for Batman Beyond. Not many, but there has been a few. I've seen his name pop up a few times. Um, but it's cool, man. It's cool to be able to make this character and wander around this area. Because I think that'll, that'll be the reason why people wanted him so much. Is because you've got this futuristic area you can wander around in. Who better than to make Batman Beyond to wander around, you know, with in it, basically. I totally get that. Busy, busy, busy. Indeed. Nice. Where can I find the simple life, man? I don't know. You're always asking me that. I have no idea. Okay? I have no idea where you'll find the flippin' simple life. I can fly. So who wants a simple life when you can fly? Whee! I know that's not really like how Terry flies, but it's flight, you know? You can't really go into specifics on how you want to fly. You know, if it's through a power or through like a gadget or jet boots or anything like that you just kind of got to pick flight and then that is what you've got which is you know completely fine thing is like i've said in multiple times in these videos 
this character creator is only going to get improved with future titles. So they might start adding things like that in the next LEGO games, whatever they may be. So we might see the ability to change animations. And so you say, I want this walk animation, this run animation. I want to be able to jump like this, fly like this with an effect. I want to change the effect color of when he flies. You know, they might go into that much detail at some point. We just got to give it time. I mean, you got to think of the crazy things we've been able to create Where with this character creator. Imagine what we'll be able to make with the next one. Like I said, it's only going to get better from here. And I think that's very, very exciting. Maybe some bad guys in Asgard. Goons, bad guys. Aha! Knew they'd be here. Nice. Take him down. Come on. Come at me. Now. Yes. Oi! What do you think you're doing? At least I know I'm there. Oh yeah, I can show the invisibility now. See, watch. If I uh, get Batman out of the way... See, he appears as invisible. They're not going to attack me. Oh, well, he, he will now. But if I do this... Okay, what the heck? I'm confused. <laughs> now the invisibility is not working at all, but it was working yesterday. Okay, see, now he's trying to attack me. But if I do this... What am... does he, he doesn't know where I am now, does he? See, he doesn't know where I am. I'm in his way. He's not going to try and hit me. That's what I was trying to explain, basically. He's just jumping all over the place. He can't see me at all. But if I do it again, now they'll probably stop trying to get me. Anyway, let's take him down. Is there anything we can throw him into? Yeah, himself. <laughs> well, not himself. His friend. Oh. Get out of Asgard, even though this isn't my place. But still, get out of it. Get out. Yes. Nice. Awesome. All right, let's get moving, Bruce. Hello. Howdy. It's crazy just how many characters you you can actually come up with with that torso alone. Like I know a lot of people have been saying you could make you know, a lot of characters with that torso, they're like, hey, you could use that for this character and this character. I've seen people say that in the comments, and you're completely right. Honestly, this torso is very useful for making a variety of different characters. Um, it's it's crazy. I, I love that, though, because it starts to... You start to, like, think of ways to make a character you haven't Where thought of, the and then you just go into the character creator, and you're like, oh, you could use this and this, and when it all comes together, it's so exciting. I, it never gets old seeing your custom character actually look good and play good. Like, that is one of the highlights of this character creator. Like, I just... What's one of the highlights of the game? The character creator is one of my favorite things about this game. Like, it just... It goes a long way being able to make all these cool things. It means a lot to be able to do this. It's awesome. <laughs> Truly awesome. But anyway, guys, I think that'll do it for this video. I mean, I've pretty much shown everything that Terry can do, but I'm quite happy with the way he turned out. You know, it'll be interesting to see what you guys thought of the addition of the cape, because I know I'm fully aware that Batman Beyond never really has a cape unless he flies. At least that's what it was like in LEGO Batman 3. Um, but... I just thought the cape looked better, to be honest. And, and since he can fly, you know, it like I said, you know, you see, he's flying there. He's got the cape. It just looks even better. So yeah, that's the reason I gave him it. I'm gonna blow up this this up here because it should look pretty cool. If I can get on top, there, hang on. There we go. All right, ready for this? Here we go. Let's see what happens. Oh, nice! He destroyed every single one. Awesome. All right. Oh, sorry. Sorry, dude, my bad. Uh, right. Turn this way. There we go. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for lots more videos real soon. And as always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.